What's up? All right, so um, my buddy going beast mode said, when gaining like that, bro, do you have to watch your cholesterol and heart? Well, I don't have a heart, so that's not really a problem. <laughs> All right, so um, what do you do to be safe with your heart? All right, when talking about the heart and cholesterol, first off, we have to really address, is cholesterol a problem in heart disease? Because what happens in heart disease is you have arterial walls, the arteries help the heart to pump, so they're flexing and bending all the time. When an arterial wall gets cracked and starts to internally bleed, then you get an acid buildup, like lactic acid there, that spurs the liver to produce LDL cholesterol. That LDL cholesterol then goes in and stops up that hole in your arterial wall. What this means is your body is actually preventing you from internally bleeding to death. According to Dr. Matthias Rath, who wrote the book, Why Animals Don't Get Heart Attacks, But People Do. Well, see, I don't think there is a problem with high cholesterol because I don't have arteries that are cracked and bleeding. Now, if you have hardening of the arteries, then yes, cholesterol is a factor in noticing or in the beginning stages or as an indicator let's say of a problem what you really have to look out for is your blood pressure now blood pressure is a major factor and my blood pressure is good so as a matter of fact my blood pressure generally runs low the only time that it ever got out of whack was running mint one time and trend um i went from trend to mint and <laughs> but beyond that um See, the cardiovascular system in a human and in a bear is exactly the same, or in all animals generally, but a bear's cholesterol runs about 600 all the time. Bears never have heart attacks. The reason being is they can have all this LDL cholesterol floating around. If it has no reason to stick to an arterial wall, then it won't. Now, why is cholesterol important? Because it is the second most abundant molecule in your body. It controls all of your sex hormones. It controls, it is how muscle binds to your bone so that you don't have a muscle tear or a muscle tear away from the bone. Like whenever people take cholesterol lowering drugs and you're training them and then their bicep tears and shoots up into their shoulder. Well, that's because it tore loose because it did not have a cholesterol bond strong enough to hold it. Cholesterol is what makes you waterproof. It is what you have to have those good essential oils to make that cholesterol so that your body can stay in balance. And lowering cholesterol is just not a good idea overall. Now, what happens if you get too high of LDL cholesterol? Well, this is more of an indicator that you have either started an anabolic program and you have torn a lot of muscle and that LDL is sticking that muscle to your bone so that it doesn't tear away. So this is a good thing. Um, your HDL cholesterol, your high density um, lipoprotein, whatever, um, that it really has nothing to do with anything. If you really want to see how your heart health is going, you look at your blood pressure and you look at your CRP levels. C-reactive protein is going to be the precursor to inflammatory response in the cardiovascular system. So I keep a check of CRP levels, which are fine, and my blood pressure, which is fine. Beyond that, I don't really worry about cholesterol. As a matter of fact, I try to eat as much cholesterol as I can, as many eggs, as much butter, because these are muscle building and hormone regulating factors that keep when doing or using outside hormones and putting them in the body. If you want them to perform properly, then I would recommend that you get massive amounts of cholesterol in your diet so that your body can properly use these hormones and, um, has something to replace them whenever they're gone.
so I hope that makes sense. And I appreciate your concern for my health, but uh, I don't think there's anything to worry about there. I was concerned at one time about using insulin in that if you use a hormone, your body stops producing a hormone. And the last thing I would want to do is become diabetic because many bodybuilders do become diabetic. Turns out they actually become diabetic because of how much food you have to consume and they're consuming mass amounts of sugar. Insulin will actually, when used when eating a massive amount of food, insulin is going to transport that energy into the muscle and you're not really taking away from the production of your um, insulin. You're not um, becoming insulin resistant at all because you have incorporated excess caloric intake and you're actually giving your pancreas a break from producing insulin and you know you don't want your beta islet cells to get stopped up you don't want to become insulin resistant but if done properly you shouldn't have any of those issues and that's actually what i'm shooting for that's why whenever i do dose insulin i dose it at times whenever my blood sugar is going to be the highest like after eating and um well, I eat a lot, so um, I hope that answers your question. And no, I don't think my heart's in any trouble by any stretch of the imagination, even with all the growth hormone, because growth hormone is actually the balancer of all your other hormones in your body. It's what we call a master hormone. Now, in massive amounts, yeah, it could be bad, but over a short period of time, the body will counter-regulate very quickly and easily once um, I cease to take the growth hormone and I incorporate MK677, or not me, my research animal, because I can't do MK677. It's a research chemical, not for human consumption. By the way, everything I say here, remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dentist. I didn't stay at a Motel 8 last night. I do have a fish, frog, monkey, mouse, saber tooth, spider cricket that I do all this testing on. So, um, with all that said, this is all for comedic value. Like, um, do your own research and make sure that you don't take my researching as gospel because Lord knows, um, well, he's a lot smarter than I am and um, he put this thing together. So um, I could screw this up. And if you screw up because you watch something that I screwed up, then, well, that's your own fault because you didn't do your research. But I do believe that this is the best route to take and it's actually working rather well. We gonna see what I weigh today. So last time I weighed, I was at 227. Um, I started at 207, so it's 20 pounds. Peace.